Ready? Seems to work like for a few seconds. Let's try this now. Go for it. The school had a, no. the school had been built on land that the government had deemed unusable, and yet this prediction proved to be untrue. God, it's all wa it's wavering all over the place. <laughs> it's drunk. And action. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. not a god in Israel to inquire of, that we must go to the god of Ekron, that they could continue looking for a new site if they wanted to, and if they found something suitable to let her know, but her heart was at peace with the current location. The leaders decided to move ahead with the purchase. The next challenge was to find the money and to build. This is perhaps the best illustration that's a very short one. Wrong time of day. present began to weaken and question the quality of the soil and so it was proposed to get a government inspector out to look at the soil. Let's do those two over there. Working at night, one would hold the candle while the other would drive in the nail hard until their hands blistered. Until their hands blistered. Built amidst toil, sacrifice and hardship by the new and small church in Australia. Graphics. It's better than some of our modern day graphics in our yeah. churches these days. 
and you've got all this information, different colours, different fonts, it's just clean. Mm. Living, wasn't she at the time, in the house in Granville? Yes, yes. And she took her cow with her to the meetings, because <laughs> she knew she was going to be late. And she would, and the cow would need to be milked, so she took the cow so the cow could be milked at the camp. That's wow. hilarious. <laughs> you imagine going down Parramatta Road in, in the west of Sydney and going down with a cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes. But you can't open these up now. No, you can't. That's no, true. No, it'll destroy oh, them. Because the right <laughs> this was the copy, 1905, that perfect copy of that. And we'll off pray. Uh, meaning, mm -hmm. we'll often pray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oft is old English. Yes, but it's an old English word. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Some of our church members wrote out Ellen White's books by hand. Oh, wow. And this book, if I remember rightly, I think it's Prophets and Kings. Yes, it is Prophets and Kings. So it took five handwritten books just like this. It's like a font, isn't it? It's perfect. Yes, it's beautiful, right? But they took me to the place where this was written mm. and uh, it was in a cupboard and they shut this much carpets or blankets around to stop any noise of anything. Mm. They couldn't use a typewriter for that reason and so these faithful had me to swim. The Duke of Edinburgh sat in that seat when they took a, a group of Adventists, they were all Adventists in the canoe, they built the canoe, they put a crown a royal crown at the top, but he came, sat in that seat, and then was carried on the shoulders of the Solomon Island of people onto the main island where he spoke to the people. But this, this whole building here was built just to house that. And that was the name of the ship, Calaverana, and here's SDA. You can get to that. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. So they then pick up the whole world. Yeah. Wow. With a minute. But they, they, they are strong people. You want to? Out! 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 Sorry! Yeah. Thank you for indulging us. <laughs> Just didn't want to ruin the shot. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Making some potato and peas on that. Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut it out! <laughs> this was also where Ellen White first settled when she came. In mid-1892, she sent a message, membership so small and poor in worldly goods accomplished this. 
They started the Australasian Bible School in two rented houses on St. George's Terrace on St. Kilda Road. <laughs> you should go a bit low, you know, Echo. I thought you said I can. Huh? I oh. think you're like way too high now. That should be yeah, higher. This message was both welcomed and also troubling. How could... They're looking for justice. They started the Australasian Bible School in two rented houses on St. George's Terrace on St. Kilda Road. Oh, goodness sake. Is it a flight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, the school would move north to Kurumbong, but its roots lie here. This journey started uh, in January of this year. It literally began by us wanting to create these videos for the young people and um, for them to learn more about their history. And each episode is a snippet of what took place in the Reformation. And before you know it, it's been playing in schools within Australia, it's been aired on, on First Light and Hope Channel, because we were seeing that so much of history is being doctored and changed. So I'm thankful for your time, Church. God bless. Yeah. They started the Australasian Bible School in two rented houses on St. George's Terrace in St. Kilda Road. Ah, forget it, let's go, I'm done.